how to create this paper grand effects in Adobe After Effects in less than 3 minutes. First, choose the type tool and type your text. Now choose your text layer, hit S and scale it down. Go to Window, then Align. Perfectly align your text to the middle. Hit Enter to name your text and name it Text. Now drag this grunge picture that you'll find in the link in description. Hit S and scale it down so it's perfectly above the text. Now click here on Toggle Switches and Modes to see the track matte sign. Now from the text to the non and Lula Matte Grunge. Hit Shift R to show the rotation property without running the scale and rotate it like you want. Now go to Effects and Presets and search Curves. Drag the Curves effect to the Grunge. From Effects Controls, I strongly suggest you to make an S curve so you have more contrast in your picture. Now drag any cinematic scene you want to use on your text. I will try with the Joker scene. Drag it to the beginning of the timeline. Drag it down and from non choose alpha matte text. Now from the modes choose difference. If you don't like the scene you can try multiple scenes. And hear what I found out from another movie. After this choose your text layer and show it. And drag the grunge overlay to the timeline. Drag it all the way to the bottom and hit T to show opacity properly and make it 70. Now let's get the animation for the text. Type tool, type After Effects. Now choose the Move tool, choose the text layer, hit S and align it to the middle. Now from Character, choose a black color, choose the Shape tool and draw a mask above the text. Go to Stroke and turn it off. Drag the Shape layer under the After Effects expression, hit Control and perfect it with the text. Now drag another branch here and scale it down and hit off a matte shape layer 1. Now hit shift, choose the first layer to the third layer and then right click then pre-compose and hit OK. Now hit S to show the scale property. Now choose the shape tool, choose the rectangle layer and draw a mask over here. Expand the mask property, mask path, move forward then drag the mask over here. Now hit F9 and expand the mask feather. You can make it even better by using overlays. Now go to Effects and Pieces and search Type Writer. Drag the Typewriter effect to the text layer. Choose the text layer and hit U. Now make this keyframe at the beginning and move this keyframe a little bit and choose F9. Now expand the text layer from here. Go to Text, then Animator 1, then Range Selector, then choose Advanced, then from Smoothness make it like this. And here's the final result.